Introducing our 2015 Gates Millennium Scholar is Kupa Thomas. Thomas is one of three students here in Hawaii who have been awarded the prestigious 2015 Gates Millennium Scholarship. They are among the 1,000 students across the United States who have also been accepted from over 50,000 applicants who entered. We've been running a bunch of errands in Hilo. I live all the way up in Volcano and I'd really want to get home. It was a Saturday and we didn't have to check the mail and I said, you know, we should check the mail. And she's like, no, Dad, let's just go home. I said, come on, let's check the mail. And much to my surprise, there was a huge packet from the Gates Millennium Scholarship Foundation. And it was that I'd gotten the scholarship. The Gates Millennium Scholarship is a part of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is the world's largest private foundation that aims to globally enhance health care, reduce extreme poverty, and expand educational opportunities in the United States and around the world. I couldn't do anything for a few minutes except for repeat a three-word phrase. Only the first word is appropriate for this interview, and that is holy. The feeling you get, it's like you find a million dollars, you know? I, like your ears start ringing and your hair stands on end and your skin's tingling and you just go, ah, ah. you know, it's, uh, it's awesome. This award is just one example of how Kupa'a has lived up to his name. His full name is Kupa'a Ike Kayao. Kupa'a means solid and upright and well-balanced on an even keel, loyal, steadfast. Ike Kayao is in the early morning light when he was born. Since then, Kupa'a has had to kulia to overcome many challenges, including Asperger's. This form of autism initially hindered his development compared to his peers. I think one thing about Kamehameha School is both the student body and the faculty here have really embraced Kupa and it's been a great experience for him. He's excelled and I'm sure that it's a, on a big part of just feeling comfortable. I think one special thing that Kupa has is he's likable, yeah. He instantly take a liking to him and you can see that with his peers and his friends especially. They treat him with respect, they include him in everything. It's really neat to see his classmates take care of him. Over the years, we've seen him grow, especially in the social realm and how he interacts with people as a whole. For what he lacks that way, he makes up for in areas of math and science. He stacks up with even the best students that I had in college. The uniqueness of him, though, was that in college I taught organic chemistry. Here, he taught himself organic chemistry. I like chemistry because chemistry is a study of matter and matter is basically everything. He was in my AP chemistry class and loved chemistry and we would talk about something and he would go and then just pursue it. I'd be sitting here at lunch, you know, and he would come in and say, Mr. Trees, I have a question. And the question got to be incredibly high level over the course of the two years. He was one of the top two students that I'd had in 28 years at the school. What type of a reaction is this guy over here eat an acid composition? This made Mr. Truesdell's job easier, not only as Kupa'a's teacher, but as the person who recommended Kupa'a for the Gates Millennium Scholarship. He's going to be a great scientist, but with the leadership opportunities that are going to be coming from Gates Millennium, that scholarship will be the difference between him being a great scientist and being a leader in science. Kupa'a has also received scholarships from the Pawahi Foundation, as well as a chancellor scholarship from his college of choice, the University of Colorado at Boulder. He plans to ho'omo on his journey through chemistry by double majoring in chemistry and biochemistry in the fall of 2015. He's a perfecter, so, you know, he's gonna take that academics to a certain level. With all of his great achievements and aspirations, Kupa'a's Loina Hawai'i keeps him grounded and humble as he reflects on the strong foundation, his immediate ohana, and his extended ohana at Kamehameha Schools Hawai'i campus that has brought him to where he is today.